Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. It's Wednesday, so we're doing the old uh, Aussie Wednesday shave. What's our choice for today? Our choice for today is wash pool. Wash pool, uh, what are they calling? Skin wellness. Actually, I think they're called. Um, Washpool Supply Co. Now, this is their number one scent. Well, they've got three scents, I believe. Um, and this one's Bergamot, Patchouli, and Cedarwood. So, a quite uh, a woody, citrusy, green type scent. Very typical uh, male scent. So we're using that. The brush we're using comes from Shave by Dave. It's a lovely handle. I'll get it nice and close here. Beautiful handle. Free, free tone, you could say. Got a red top. Or blood red top, I suppose. Uh, black, a bit of pearl. And in that, I've got a 26ml ball brush, a Yaki high density ball brush. So I'll stick that in my Soko for a while. When we talk about the other stuff, the rays we're going to use. Is the Razor Rock Hawk. Hawk version 2, the aluminium one. And the blade I've got in there is the Kai. I don't know where I've got it here. Yeah, that's it. Captain Kai. Or Captain Titan Mild. They call the pinch as well. So I'll just undo that, I'll show you how the blade fits in there. It's got a couple of nice posts there, so it's quite secure. And you can see there's a couple of pins in the top cap. So it's very secure and well aligned. So. Alright, so that's the razor. We'll go over the lathering station and build the leather. Alright, we're at the uh, overhead shop here. All ready to go. We've got about two grams of that firm. It's firm but pliable. Puck. So it comes in this 80 grams, or you can get the soft version in the um, 180 gram tubs. That's what we're going to use. Let's get my brush, give it a squeeze, shake, and we'll get the ball rolling. It leathers up pretty easily. Now I classify this soap as a serviceable soap, so it will do the job, performance wise, makes a pretty good lather though. So what I do, because I've got a little bit of Parasso here left, I want to use it up, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit of that in there to give it a little boost. I can use the soap without it, but I've got it and I want to use it up, so... so I'll start adding in some water.
The knot in this brush is a high density bore brush. I believe they made it more dense by splitting the hairs. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me. It also has gel tips similar to what they do to the ball brushes. You can see it making very nice looking leather. That's 10. It's pretty good. I might just put in another quarter teaspoon. It'll probably be enough. Yep, that's pretty good. So just twelve and a half milk water required for that sample size focus on that lovely all right move back to the other camera okay back from building that lovely lever beautiful Took me about four minutes. Now I've already put the pre shave on, so I'll just re wet it. And we're still using the Lucky Tiger uh, liquid shave cream as the pre shave. I've got about um, a three days growth today. So how's everybody going today? Having a good week so far? Well, the last few days here, we've had a bit of a spring weather. The sun's shining this morning and it was oh, pretty good yesterday. Nice fine day. Not much wind. A little cool around 12 degrees Celsius but it didn't feel cold because there was virtually no wind oh this is lovely Can't complain about that. Look at that, beautiful. So, what happened on this day? Well, actually, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, Beatles released their single "Yesterday," <laughs> uh, a solo song by Paul McCartney, or something written by Paul McCartney and sung by Paul McCartney. It was the first um, time they put a solo, put out a solo song. Solo meaning only one singer, only one member of the group was singing in the, in the song. Nothing different about it. They also mixed in uh, a string arrangement
Um, and that was arranged by George, George Martin. So experimenting more with um, multi-tracking, dubbing and things like that. This is the start of their more complex songs. So it was released in um, America on the 13th of September 1965 and I think it went to the top of the charts yes that's right reached number one uh, I don't have a I don't know how long it stayed at number one. I didn't write that down, sorry. Yesterday, if you don't already know, it's a melancholy ballad about a breakup of a relationship. So the singer nostalgically laments about yesterday when his, him and his love were together before she left because of something he said. And the song was written by Paul McCartney. And the original name wasn't yesterday, it was Scrambled Eggs. They couldn't think of the right word to put in the, in the rhyme. So originally they just said scrambled eggs. <laughs> and it took them a while to figure out what, what word to use and the word was yesterday. Now it wasn't released in England, in the UK, until 1976 as a single. It was on the Help album, but they didn't release it because members of the, uh, the group vetoed it because of uh, the song was so different to what was ever released before. Like, they've never released a solo song before, and everything else was more up tempo. Oh, this um, lather is working really well, really nice and rich. So that's something you can do if you've got a soap that you know performs okay, but you just wanted to give it get a bit more out of it. Just add a bit of cream to it. And you might get something that works a little bit better. Especially since I've got you know a drawer full of creams here that need to be used up. I mean that tube I've had for years, who knows how old it is. What else can I say, uh, tell you about that song, Yesterday? Uh, song featured Paul McCartney, acoustic guitar, and a string quartet. Uh, yeah, we had that. Uh, it remains today very popular and there are more than 2,200 cover versions of it.
and it and BMI or the Broadcast Music Incorporation uh, asserts that it was performed over seven million times in the 20th century. And it was voted number one of the song of the 20th century on um, Pop Radio BBC in 1999. And it remains my one of my favourite songs from the Beatles. Things are going nice and smoothly. This blade does is really nice. Sharp, smooth. Ah, very nice. There's plenty of residual soap left over, with a wet hand anyway. I could shave with that, it's uh, plenty of residual. Even though residuals can dry up, if they're still soaked there, that's, I still refer to that as a residual, not just you know, have a shave and there's nothing there. If you wet your hand and put on it and you feel, still feel soap, I call that residual. Still very creamy, stable. It's lovely. Nice scent. Um, give it about six out of ten on strength meter. Or sniffer meter. What else happened in um On this day. I'm sticking to the music, it's more cheerful. So George Federick Handel. Finished his composition of Messiah. After working non-stop for 23 days. Beautiful, very smooth. What else? Little Richard records to free. 1955. Dirty fruity, all fruity, I think. I remember it well. Of course I did. I was three at the time.
Cherry Beach Sauna. Something else happened in um, 1968, but that's more of a sad thing. Whilst on tour in England, Roy Orbison's family house got burnt down in Tennessee. And killed his two eldest children. such a tragic life. I believe he couldn't read sheet music. He did everything by ear. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very nice. I don't see any weepers or irritations, or I don't feel any irritations. We'll give it a alum check, rinse off. Ten. 
Lovely. All right. I'll um, just put on this lovely leftover leather on my face as a scrub. Go and have my shower, and I'll come back and do the post shave. You can see, beautiful. And it feels nice and creamy, beautiful. Oh, we finished on that shower. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, it's got a bit of soap on my lens. Hang on. Yes, move. Beautiful. No weepers, creepers. One all shadow. Alright, let's go for the post shave. Witch hazel. We'll finish. Finish. We'll then add the Natio Balm. Natio Calming, which is a bit of a citrus thing. Citrus scented. Lemony. Maybe a bit of orange as well. Shop with today, yeah. Um, Blue Stratus. Blue Stratus aftershave. Wonderful stuff. Oh, can't do it. Oh, lovely. So, a Fuji type sink. Quite a good match to the soap actually. Fresh. Mmm. Nine years. Lovely. Okay, thank you all for watching. And that's my shave of the day. So we'll catch you on the next one.